shine. Rap, 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 rap. Then it goes a little something like this. Everything sports culture. Rap. Sports, sounds, and sneakers. And boom goes the gun. And now, sports rap. Sports rap live. With Adam Rap. Adam Rap. Andrew Martinez. Martin Martinez. And DJ Guns. You guys are hot. Welcome to Sports Rap Live, everybody. It is Thursday, April 12, 2012. How do you like that? 4-12-12. From Junction Bar and Grill in the shadow of downtown Houston, Texas, where they have the best bar food in H-Town. Great patio for beautiful weather like this. Most beautiful wait staff and bartenders. Coldest drinks around. 42 screens of live sports action and the trillest sports talk on air right here on Sports Rap Live. Thank you guys for tuning in. Of course, if you guys want to jump in on any of the action tonight, you can do so by calling the Silverleaf Ghost Pepper Hotline at 713-212-5790 as we take you around the world of sports, sounds, and sneakers. And as always, it's brought to you by Diamond Supply Co. and DiamondSupplyCo.com where the very popular mystery box will be available this Saturday online only. You're going to want to tune in early to DiamondSupplyCo.com. You never know what you're going to get, but you're definitely going to get eight shirts plus all kinds of surprises if you're one of the lucky ones. And that's only 100 bucks. $100. For a mystery box? For a mystery box that guarantees you eight Diamond Supply I've seen that before on other sites where it's kind of like, you know, you get a mystery box of whether, you know, technical goods or whatever, like little technology things, technology swag, but Diamond Supply, a mystery box? That you, There might be one box that you get just has, like, blow you away stuff. There's I, a Japanese holiday that is, um, that's like a mystery day where that, it's that what you do is you give someone a bag and they don't know what's in it. You, you exchange gifts with no one knowing what's in it. But I forgot what it's called, but Bape does it. And Bape has a sale every year where you can just buy the mystery bag and you don't know what's in it. Could be a t-shirt, could be a hoodie. You just got to take your shot. Could be a special collab they dug out from the back. You it's never something, know. Something out of the warehouse craziness. Well, I guess uh, there's a little mystery to our show tonight. How fitting is that? Because yep. we have special guests galore. I don't want to give them all away right now, so you're just going to have to wait and ride with us from 8 to 10 p.m. right here on Sports Talk 790 and iHeartRadio. And, uh, hey, some of the lucky ones that get that Diamond Supply Co. box, if you don't get one of those, you might be lucky right here on Sports Wrap Live because <laughs> we have a giveaway that you do not want to let pass you by. We're going to be giving away far side tickets to two lucky callers, a set to two different callers tonight on the Silverleaf Ghost Pepper Hotline. That show is Sunday. Wait, the far side? The far side. Wow. She keeps on passing me by. That's a big deal. Lab Cab in California, right, right on cue. Gons Running away. Right on top of it. Gons, how you Drops. doing tonight, by the way? I'm doing good. Lights are on. Lights are bright. Amp I'm actually are curious here. about that box. I wonder if it's going to have a big old question mark on it. <laughs> and big old Sharpie, just question mark. Like, hmm. It's, it's like that. Uh, so many possibilities. Of it's what like it that be. little dum-dum you know they have in the bags that has the mystery <laughs> flavor. Oh, you don't know that. if it's going to be really, really good or it's going to be like, you know, yeah. burnt popcorn or something. Right. You don't know. They do have a burnt popcorn flavored. I don't know, but you, you don't want that flavor. Yeah, it's, it's gross. I'm not feeling uh, it. Butter yeah, no, popcorn. I'm doing, good. Popcorn. I'm doing good. Awesome, awesome. And you guys, Bun B, Andrew Martinez, how, how's your week going? Good, doing great. Awesome. Right, I'm feeling good. You know, they finally got a uh, an arrest with George Zimmerman in the Trayvon Martin case. So absolutely, you know, I'm, I'm just absolutely. happy to see you know justice begin to take its course. I'm not gonna you know comment either way. All you know, all we wanted at the end of the day was for you know justice to run its course, and I think that ball is starting to roll now. So we'll just sit back and, and hope that it continues to you know. Like I said, all we wanted was a fair day in court. Let the facts stand, and whatever happens, happens. So that's what's going on. Beautiful words today. I heard that all the faceless, colorless supporters of this that really spoke up over the last couple weeks are to be applauded for, Absolutely. for justice being served. Absolutely. This would not United have happened States. if people had not stood up and hadn't marched, hadn't attended rallies, hadn't signed that petition. We, you know, there was a million plus signatures on the uh, petition to bring George Zimmerman to justice. And uh, 
you know, again, this just shows people that, you know, if you get up and you stand and you act, things will change. Don't just assume that anybody's going to do it for you. You got to get up and, as we like to say, get in the game. Or as Bob Marley once said, get up, stand up. Hey. Stand up for your rights. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Um, well, yeah, this is a hard transition, as always, because that is a very, very serious subject, and a young man lost his life. But we are going to continue here on Sport Trap Live. And uh, you know what? There was some backlash uh, when this new owner for the Astros took over, Jim Crane, about changing the name, changing the look, changing leagues. There was uniform. A lot of, uh, the uniform. So, Bun, I'm going to ask you right off the bat, since that they decided not to do that, for this season at least, until they move to the American League next year, what did you think on Tuesday night of the 50th anniversary to the day of the Colt 45's uniforms? I think it was a beautiful day, man. I think it was good to see all those guys standing together. Uh, I appreciate the owners not making any drastic changes to the teams, the logo, or any of the, the uniforms or anything right now. With it being the 50th anniversary of the team, let us, you know, continue with our tradition, at least for this year, while we're still in the National League. Let us, you know, you know, congratulate everything that we've accomplished over the last 50 years in the National League. Let's honor those players. Let's honor those uniforms. Let's honor that tradition, you know, and then when we move over to the AL next year, you know, we'll be a little bit more, you know, accepting of possibly new things, you know, to be moving on to a new tradition and, you know, new things, and we'll maybe open to it, but let us have our little history and nostalgia right now. That's that's just me. Totally agree. Totally agree. Well, hey, we're going to continue on with the nostalgia of the man named Andrew Martinez as he keeps, his, yeah, he keeps his eye on the diamond, where we take you around the world of Major League Baseball as the Astros finish off their second series of the young 2012 uh, early season against the Atlanta Braves and head to Little Havana, which uh, I am mm. actually. Yeah, it's a nice lid. That is yeah. a nice. Yeah, I, I like the new look. Well, and it's so funny, Barn, because anytime we pick up a new lid or we pick up some new sneakers, new shirts, whatever it may be, first thing you want is a fit. Of course. So I'm thinking to myself, what do I have in my closet that is going to go with this brand new? Miami Marlins. And it's a, say, it's a very Miami look to that hat. Perfect fit, ladies and gentlemen. These were sitting in my closet, worn one time, because I really don't have much to rock these with. Perfect fit, ladies and gentlemen. I am on that. That was Kobe a great system. grab. Great grab. Absolutely, absolutely. There's always something you can find in your closet, and Kadoma's going to stop by later to tell you what's going to be in your closet real soon. Yes. As we take it back to the primitive days of skateboarding and skateboarding sneakers before it was all the rage with lines and 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 raffles for certain SBs and uh, limited editions, quick strikes, things of that nature. So Kadoma's going to come by, and he's also going to bring on a very special guest. I told you it's a mystery show tonight, who uh, just dropped a really Really hot mixtape off the West Coast. Hmm. Somebody who's been involved with the H Town Sneaker Summit after party. Okay. In the past, somebody who uh, who's hot right now. Uh, I'm, gonna I'm, I'm gonna try to put this together. I'm gonna try to put this because I thought I knew because I was like, well, wait a minute, we just had Smoke Dizzy. He dropped a hot mixtape, but then you mm -hmm. said West Coast. And you said West Coast. So. Yep. Yep. I give you a, I give maybe you a I'll hit. dig into my mystery bag and see if I. I can think I know who it is, but I don't want to say. Did you eat your uh, Did you eat your veggies today? Oh goodness! It's not who I thought. Then it's not who okay. I thought. Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure that you're eating healthy, Andrew. Martin. I always eat my veggies by the caseload. So. Huh. Very well said. <laughs> Very well said. Well, we're gonna have uh, that and much more here on Sports Wrap Live tonight. And you know what? We got to get caught up on all the NBA action, of course. And we're gonna open up the rap sheet brought to you by BC Smoke Shop. After this first break with our main man, our ace in the hole on the NBA beat, Mo Bob from Slam Magazine. Ow. Yeah, and we got to ask him about these Rockets because you know what? I think everybody knew they were going to lose to the Jazz last night after a hot start to the month of April. I didn't. I didn't. I, I thought after beating the Lakers at home, I thought they'd keep it going for mm -hmm. a minute, you know? I got to, I, I always, like I said, I always think with my heart, not my head. I'm sorry. That's just me. That's I got one word for you. Dragic. The Dragon. Western Conference Player of the Week. Rawr, rawr, like a the dungeon Slovenian dragon. Slayer. Very well said. <laughs> Very well said. Um, well, hey, you know what? The Heat continue to struggle uh, against the Celtics, who have the most wins since the All-Star break. I don't know if you guys knew this, but Celtics have been one of the hottest teams, not only in the East, Rondo. in the NBA. Rondo. I'm telling you, that guy is dropping dimes. Oh, literally. Literally. To a record, record fashion. Well, I mean, you've been listening to Doc all year. Doc, Doc said, don't, don't count us out. We'll be fine. 
You know, my guys will get the ball rolling. We having a slow start, but we'll get the ball rolling. Simmons had Simmons, Bill Simmons had an article the other day about it's year five and a three year plan for the Celtics and how Rondo is just keeping the team sort of the nucleus still alive. He's adding that extra, you know, youth to the team. Well, their whole concern, and we'll get into it more later with Mo Bob, uh, but their whole concern was that once all these old guys left, that Rondo yeah. would be a malcontent. Or not malcontent, but he would be unhappy with the team rebuilding. And there's still been rumors and chat, well, I don't say rumors, but chatter about him being sort of, uh, I don't want to say insubordinate, but uh, a guy that doesn't always mesh well with the coaching staff and doesn't always mesh well within uh, the confines of what the structure is for the team. I was going to say my surprise with them has actually been KG. I thought he wouldn't be having a – he's having a good season. I didn't think he'd be able to, you know, muster up another good season, but he's actually playing really well. As long as he has that scowl gone, yeah, I'm still going right. to believe. Once he, <laughs> th once he keeps banging his head on that post you and, he's still, and he's still up, I'll, go yeah. ahead. I'll give him a shot. <laughs> you know it's game time. Yeah, so he's been doing really good, man. Hey, to all the live listeners right, that, right now, we want to appreciate you and give you a big clap for tuning in on Sports Talk 790 and iHeartRadio. Absolutely. Salute. Hashtag, as they say on Twitter. But you guys can hit us up on Twitter at Sports Rap Live, and that's rap with two P's. Why, Andrew? Two P's are better than one. That's what my mama used to tell me. Don't or tell you. my wife. Hey. Hey. But um. Okay. Okay. Don't forget to tip your waitress. <laughs> He'll be here. Well, not all night, but for the rest of this intro, for sure. Um, well, you guys can also follow the, the – we got a brand-new Facebook page coming. We're going to revamp some of the uh, old Houston sports rap, which is a blast from the past page. So we've got some great followers on there, some great fans on there. We're going to be updating that. But right now, you can go to Sports Rap Space Live, where you can see your boy passed out in a chair. Oh, my goodness. It's not me, is it? After camping. No, it was me. I was literally oh, okay. tired. i got to watch out for those photos. I'm not on the Facebook. i got a picture of you passed out. We just haven't posted it yet. That okay, is true. Okay. I'm, that I'm, is true. But I'm, and you know what? I'm, no I'm, comment. I'm, we're going to be revamping everything. I've been looking at everything. We're going to be revamping the Facebook page. We're going to revamp the website. Ah. We're going to we're going to step it up a notch over here. I just here, revamped my own uh, Twitter today, Adam. I had to go with the rated rookie. That's pretty heavy. That's a, the rated rookie Donruss is a good hey. look. From what I understand up there in the press box at Minute Maid, you are a rated rookie. You are coming on strong, kid. I, I am a rated rookie because I'm I'm some young blood in there that I'm kind of just learning the ropes from these different veterans. But it's been a good it's been a good fun time so far. Well, we're gonna show them that you're a true pro when we get into baseball later on. We're gonna get into rated that. Rated rookie. I like everything it. else plus our bad rap at the end of the show. And if you have a bad rap from around the world of sports, you guys want to get in early on the Ghost Pepper Hotline because it's gonna get jammed up later on. Or anything else. My <laughs> mind might lean towards the entertainment side. You never know. You never know. Well, Gons is really big on those bad rap commercials, so we'll see where he's coming from tonight. We are jam-packed, so break the knob off your radio tonight. Lock us in on iHeartRadio, and when we get back, hey. What you got? Maurice Bob from Slam Magazine. Of course, we got the big Slam banner right here for his appearance, and he'll be right here after this short break. Stick around. We'll be right back on Sports Rap Live. Yeah. Well, 